Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So y'all, today I'm going to get into my favorite products as a dental hygienist. You know, if you want these shiny little chompers, I suggest you stay tuned, okay? But y'all, first, real quick before we get into this video, I need some help, y'all. I need you to stop right now. Anything that you're doing, put it down. Wait, no, don't put it down. Don't put the camera down. Don't put the phone down. Keep watching the video. But I need you to stop right here in your tracks hit subscribe on this channel y'all right now help your girl oh make sure you like this video make sure that you comment down below let me know the products that you're using and anything else pertaining to this video also if you guys know somebody else who could use this video aka the people with the bad breath in the back say it Y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who they are. Y'all know y'all been hanging out with some folks that their hygiene ain't all the way there. So make sure you share this video, okay? Let's get into it. All right, y'all, so product number one. Where could we be without product number one? We need product number one. So that is going to be my handy dandy toothbrush now y'all just so you know none of these products in this video are sponsored so you know if anybody's out there looking to pay somebody to you know what is it called it like basically sponsor their stuff or to yeah, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. If anybody out there is looking for somebody to, you know, engage with their products, especially when it comes to oral health, let me know, you know what I'm saying? I'm down to try it all, but if it's bad, I'm gonna be honest, okay? I ain't gonna be out here talking about somebody's products and it's not even good. I don't got time for all that. Because then that's my name on the line. Y'all not about to play with me. Y'all not about to play with my name. Anyways, product number one is my toothbrush. This is the toothbrush that I have been using for the past, I want to say month, month and a half. This is the Philips Sonicare. This is the box that it came in. Okay, this is the Philips Sonicare 4700 Protective Clean. Y'all see that? 4700 Protective Clean um it includes so if you buy this bundle for this toothbrush it includes the toothbrush one brush head one charger and one travel case so i think i have my travel case in here which i do cute little travel case because y'all i'm sorry but once you use an electric toothbrush you do not go back you don't go from electric to manual it is not it okay I tried it um but it is not it for me okay guys so I use my Sonicare toothbrush I also have a second toothbrush y'all it's a little old and dingy don't mind it but this is my Oral B this is my Oral B brawn I don't have the box to this toothbrush because I've been using it for a while now I don't even know how long and I just replaced like my toothbrush heads you can see if you guys don't have an electric toothbrush the heads just come off and you replace the heads of your toothbrush that's how you're going to keep them clean um so these are my two electric toothbrushes that I use again this is a newer one so I've been sticking with my Sonicare but don't get me wrong, I really love my Oral-B as well. I also have one more electric toothbrush, but I don't know if I have it with me. I don't think I have it with me, but it is Oral-B I.O. So it's Oral-B, but it's a newer brand. Y'all, personally for me, I like to stick to 
my basics these two are um very affordable i think this one is like 50 dollars, maybe like 40 something this one is an older model so i don't know i think this one's still a little bit more pricey maybe like 80 dollars or something let me see if i can look it up really quick for y'all because i know my um my pink little sonicare toothbrush is not that expensive let me see oral b brown tooth brush okay i think this is the one no that can't be the one uh-uh that's is that the one all right y'all supposedly oh it's a good one i like this i didn't know that i was using a good one i do not remember where i got this from i wonder if i got this from y'all none of my electric toothbrush let me not say that but all my oral b toothbrushes because i have this one and also the io one all of these electric toothbrushes um i've gotten from like work from working and like you know the rep comes in and i've gotten my oral b toothbrushes from there sonicare is not as giving for us but i know that when you're in school they give you a free sonicare toothbrush Funny story is that when I was in hygiene school, I was so overwhelmed, y'all, that, listen, they gave us a link and said, all you got to do is just sign up. All you got to do is sign up in this link, like hit the link, sign up to receive your free Sonicare toothbrush. They gave us a whole year to do it. Once again, my dumb little butt, I was so overwhelmed and felt like so overworked that I didn't even go and click on the link to get the free toothbrush. So I never got my free Sonicare toothbrush. That's why I'm just receiving a Sonicare toothbrush as of very recently, like a month or two ago. Um, I got myself a Sonicare because I wanted to see how it works. So let me tell you guys the difference really quick. Okay, so with the Sonicare, the difference is the head, right? Like you have this long head, kind of resembles like a manual toothbrush. And then with the Oral-Bs, you're going to have a round head okay now all of this is preference and there is not one that's better than the other when you're buying a toothbrush you want to just make sure that it or like any dental products like toothbrush toothpaste rinse whatever you want to make sure that it makes your teeth feel clean because what works for me does not work for the next person and i realized that some of my patients they love the oral b and can't stand the sonicare and some of them love and swear by the sonicare and oral b just doesn't work for them okay so for me personally i will tell i would say if you are a heavy brusher like if you hold your brush really tight and you're like going ham and you've been to your dental office and they're telling you you're brushing too hard you need to calm it down you need to lighten up your pressure i'm gonna recommend the sonicare for you or if you know you're a heavy brusher i'm gonna recommend the sonicare okay i like the sonicare because it vibrates okay so it's a little bit different so i'm gonna turn it on Ooh, it's splattering baby you can hear how it sounds it has different settings on it you can go to clean or you can go to gum care i don't know if you guys can see that but there are two different settings it's either clean or gum care that you can switch between you can switch um how powerful you want your toothbrush to be there's three different levels i always say go in the lowest setting and i like that it is a vibrating motion because it's a little bit more gentle of clean than your all b will be so i like my sonic hair it gives me a nice gentle clean so that's like the pros of this toothbrush what I don't like about this toothbrush is there's a lot of new like toothbrushes on the market. You can have some with like timers. That's my IO to my IO by Oral B that I don't have on me. Um, it has like a timer. It has the pressure sensor, all of that. This toothbrush does have like the levels. It has the pressure. Like if you put too much pressure on this toothbrush, it's gonna stop. Um, 
but what I don't like is when I'm holding this toothbrush and it's vibrating, like the type of motion that it uses, it feels kind of funny in my hand. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, it's like vibrating in my hand and I almost feel like, I don't know, like whatever the waves are, I kind of feel like it's like getting into my system. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's like radiation or something when like you're just like, Argh you know, with dental x-rays, how all the patients just act like if they take one more dental x-ray, one more bite wing, they're gonna just like be glowing or zapped into the next dimension. That's how I feel when I'm using my Sonicare. It's just kind of like, I don't know, just like weird. It like vibrates through my whole hand and it freaks me out just a little bit. So that is my Sonicare my oral B, and you guys see how i keep a cover over my toothbrush okay one thing i can't stand is when i go to people's houses and i see their toothbrush just like sitting out with no cover on it or sitting in the shower like oh you know how much bacteria is in the shower i know that people brush in the shower and i didn't understand this so i tried it one day and i was like what am i doing and honestly i know that some people they like to brush in the shower to each its own so the only thing I would say to be cautious of is how much bacteria you're getting on your toothbrush and you're putting that in your mouth. I like to always, after I'm done brushing, I'll take a paper towel, wipe my toothbrush, get the moisture out of it, and put a cover over my toothbrush. Probably want to keep it out. I do keep mine like in a drawer, but I probably should keep it out just to like let it air out a little bit. So my Oral-B toothbrush, same thing, it has these different, now hold on y'all, I forgot to tell you guys, when I looked it up, my um, Oral-B toothbrush, this was a pretty good one, I think it's, it, it resembles the Genius X online, and I think that it is actually, this toothbrush runs for about $200, it's saying on Amazon, and this toothbrush also came with an extra toothbrush head, a case, and a charger for these two toothbrushes this one is cheaper than this one okay um what i like what i was saying what i like about this it has a lot more settings even though i always use the gentle setting guys which on this one is the feather so this one has like all of these different settings it has gum care it has the feather setting which is the lighter one it has a diamond clean and then it just has like a sweep clean so um yeah guys you have to flick through and see which ones you want me as a dental hygienist i'm always going to recommend the lightest setting the gentle setting because the harder we brush the more we hurt our gums you can cause recession of your gums when you brush really hard um so out of these two my favorites if i'm being 100 percent honest with myself now again guys this this toothbrush also does come with a charger in a case like i said okay i already said that um out of these two i think that i can find replacement heads to my oil be quicker than my sonicare but um out of these two, I'm gonna have to say my Oral B is my favorite. I can't even lie. Like, I do like my Oral B better. I feel like so. This one spins in a circle. It's dead, y'all. I have not been using my little baby. It is dead, but this one goes in a circle versus this one vibrates. And I would have to say, guys, that I think I like my Oral B better. My Oral B is a little bit better than my Sonicare. That's just that's just my personal opinion okay now I do use a manual toothbrush I have a manual toothbrush in my thing um and I use that to clean my tongue because I feel like when I use my electric toothbrushes and again there is no right or wrong way you have to try it for yourself but for me, when I use my electric toothbrushes to clean my tongue, it doesn't feel as clean. So I like to just get in there manually and gentle. You don't have to be like going ham with your tongue cleaning, but you need to clean your tongue. So much bacteria sits on the tongue and that's where a lot of people have bad breath and don't realize it because you're not cleaning your tongue well.
and I've been there. So, and sometimes, y'all, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't know if it's because I work in dental. If you work in dental and you can agree, please comment down below and don't make me feel like a fool. But for me personally, when I am, you know, when I, I like lately, I just, I'm just like so concerned about my breath all the time. And I think it's because I'm always like working around teeth and with people with bad breath and all this stuff that I'm just like so concerned with my breath. I don't know why. So I do use that. I do also have um, a tongue scraper, you guys. So I have tongue scrapers as well. It's just that these, I have to like throw them away and get new ones all the time versus my toothbrush. I feel like I can like clean my toothbrush well. And, um, you know, not have to toss it as frequently. But, like, with these tongue scrapers, I don't know why I feel like I can't clean them as well. I guess you could, you know, clean this with peroxide, too, and soak it, too. Why not? But I guess, I don't know. I just feel weird about reusing these things all the time. So, but I do have tongue scrapers. Um, and this one is just by a clean i think i got this app um from my job but a tongue scraper is a tongue scraper i don't really know if i believe in using like metal ones that like are like really scraping you and stuff like that i just think always gentle when i think about cleaning my teeth i always think gentle all right next product my favorite toothpaste right here y'all this stuff right here, this is Densify by Crest Pro Health. This stuff um, is so good. This has been one of my favorite toothpaste, okay? Other than this one, there was one other toothpaste that I can never, ever, ever find anymore. I almost feel like they stopped selling it. And I'm telling you guys, when I was using that toothpaste, it was making my teeth so white. And I'm going to find it. Don't you worry. I'm going to find it and I'll show you guys it one day when I can find it. But for right now, I really like this Crest Pro Health Densify. Um, it just it makes my my um, breath feel very fresh. My teeth feel clean. And yeah, it just, uh, to me, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, but this one says actively rebu rebuilds tooth density to extend the life of teeth. So basically, it has products in it that can protect your enamel we need protection of our enamel because the if not we're gonna get cavities our teeth are gonna be breaking down over time a lot quicker if we don't use products that protect the enamel as a hygienist i always recommend recommend fluoride fluoride treatments fluoride in your routine because we need fluoride for our enamel i know a lot of people are like so against fluoride listen to each its own but this is what i always tell my patients too much of anything is no good but you're supposed to be having your fluoride treatments at least every six months at your dentist office if they're not offering it for, to you you should ask especially if you have cavities every time you go if you don't get if you haven't had cavities in the past five to ten years fine like okay keep doing you but if you've had cavities or if your dentist is watching some areas like every time you go in he's like yeah i'm concerned about this one area but we're gonna keep an eye on it you should be asking for a fluoride treatment it's not always covered for adults but guys it's helpful so let me see if this has anything in it let's see the ingredients see right here y'all that's why i like this stuff it has Active ingredient, Stannis fluoride, 0.454%, which is good for a toothpaste, you know? So even though, this is another thing, even though, and I get this question all the time, like every time I offer fluoride tr treatments to my patients, well, not every time, some of my patients know, but you know, when I'm like talking to new patients about fluoride, they're like, oh no, I'm good, I have fluoride in my toothpaste. Child, this is 0.454%. So a fluoride varnish, that's what it's called, a fluoride varnish has about 
per 2.26% um, of fluoride in it, basically. So yes, y'all, so we're getting a lot more fluoride if we're using our treatments. And yes, if you're gonna be using fluoride and at a high percentage all the time, then maybe it might not be good for you because like I said, too much of anything is no good. But if you're using the little bit that comes in here, and mind you, if there's 0.454% of fluoride, you gotta think about it. We're only using a pea size of toothpaste every time we brush. So we're really probably not even getting even a little bit of that fluoride in our paste, like in our mouth. So for me personally, I always recommend get your use your fluoride treatments, okay? My next favorite product, Do it loud for the people in the back. Y'all know y'all don't be flossing. Oh. Y'all know y'all ain't seen this in months. Months. You know you ain't seen no string in months. Let me remind you what it looked like. Let me. It looked like that. Mm-hmm. It looked like that. Now, just so you guys know, I you, you're supposed to get like an arm's length. Right here from your arm to your hand, like an arm's length of floss wrap it around your middle fingers use your pointers use your thumbs or both to get in between your teeth okay so floss um my favorite type of floss is waxed number one you want to make sure that you're using a wax floss if you're if every time you're flossing your floss is like breaking and fraying in between your teeth it's probably because you're not you're using an unwaxed floss which means that it can't glide as nicely so I always use wax and this particular floss is glide waxed I can use that all the time with my patients and my floss breaks probably like one percent of the time when I use this glide so that is my favorite floss to use make sure you are flossing at least once a day but um you know I'm a human too so I'm not gonna lie sometimes I don't be flossing I'm not gonna lie I don't feel like lying I already told y'all I don't feel like lying no more sometimes I don't floss I'm gonna do something who's gonna do something about it sometimes I don't floss I'll be honest but I should that don't mean that I shouldn't. I should. I should floss. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get on top of it. Okay. My next favorite product, my whitening. These are my whitening trays, which I got a little bit of lipstick on them the one time I was, you know, whitening. But, uh, are molded to my teeth. I uh, sit on there like that. They sit right on my teeth. And yeah. I like the way they feel, but. So yeah, guys. These are my whitening trays. They're like rubber, they're comfortable. And what I do with my whitening trays is I put my gel. So let me show you the fa my favorite gel. Okay, number one, my favorite gel is right here. This is the Zoom by Philips gel. I believe that you can only get this in a dental office, but this stuff works really, really well. When and if I'm ever... Honestly, y'all, I have never been consistent with this stuff. But when I have, for at least a week or a week and a half, this stuff has really, really worked wonders, y'all. So I love this gel. All I do is I have a little tip. Let's see. I have a little tip. This is not the right tip. But if it was, I'm going to show you. You just put the tip. You take this tip off. You put this tip on and you squeeze here and you're gonna basically put let me put this y'all my camera's about to die 
I'm gonna go get my other battery in a second. But you're basically gonna put just a little dot. Let me come closer and see if you guys could see. But you're only gonna put like a little tiny dot. Like literally, I would just boop, boop, boop. Put little tiny dots from like canine to canine. So sharp tooth to sharp tooth. What you can see when you smile. For me, like I have a big smile so I could technically whiten from like, I would probably whiten from like here to here. I don't really care to whiten my molars, y'all, because they're all the way back there. Nobody's going to see them. And now you're just putting extra gel on your, extra like chemicals on your teeth that you don't need to. You're going to put just a little tiny dot in each tooth compartment on your trays. You're going to put your tray. Put your tray on your teeth. Let the gel sit on your teeth. And every gel is different. You gotta read the instructions. Some gels you can sleep overnight in. And some gels you only wanna keep on for 30 to 45 minutes. Me, I don't know what those overnight gels be doing. It kinda of creeps me out because it's whitening, it's bleaching on your teeth. I never recommend my patients to do overnight. Um, just because it can cause harm to your enamel. It does not matter what whitening you're doing. Um, the safest whitening is obviously in your dental office under a professional, but I never recommend doing a whitening treatment overnight. That just sounds crazy to me because no matter which gel you use, it still can strip your enamel. It can still make your teeth sensitive. So um, I will always use like a daytime gel. Typically the gels say to keep them on your teeth for about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, you can, you know, judge that off of your sensitivity. If you're trying to keep your gel on for 45 minutes, but after 25 minutes your teeth hurt, you need to take your whitening off. You need to take your gel off, you need to take your trays off, and you need to get your life together <laughs> like <laughs> but yeah take your gel off your teeth because that's a sign that you know it's causing sensitivity and it's gonna mess with your teeth and it's getting to the inner layer and yeah so after you're done using your gel you guys after you're done whitening your teeth you really should not be eating anything that can stain a white shirt for at least 48 hours at least when you do a, a whitening treatment you guys um, no matter which kind it is it opens up the tubules in your teeth so it opens up like the nerves almost in your teeth and it's your body's trying to take in the whitening gel but because the tubules in your teeth are more open now if you drink a coffee it's gonna take in that coffee more readily than it would if your tubules weren't open. Whitening kind of is activating the opening of your tubules so that your tubules could take in all this whitening. But in that process, if you start drinking hot tea, coffee, and all that, it's going to take that in even greater. So I always recommend at least 48 hours of nothing that can stay in a white shirt. Okay. All right, y'all. So for my mouth rinse, um, number one, I get this asked a lot, do mouth rinses really help? Do they really work? My answer is yes. Your mouth rinse is to rinse out bacteria, kill bacteria <coughs> that's currently in your mouth. Um, from what I know, like most, most mouth rinses are only really working while they're in your mouth. But they do work because they're removing bacteria, they're getting food out of there, they're getting plaque out of there. So I always tell my patients, I'm like, like, you know, if you are being super duper lazy that you cannot brush, you know, three times a day, whatever, or if you're at work and brushing is just not ideal, at least get yourself some mouth rinse, swish it around for 30 seconds and spit it out. At least it's something removing something out of your mouth. My favorite two mouth rinses that I have been using are number one, this one. This is my favorite one right now, Crest Advanced Pro Health. 
um this is the same thing that i use for my tube craze the the crest pro health and this one is with fluoride so i love this mouth rinse um it does not have any alcohol in it and guys like the mouth rinses with and without alcohol pretty much work the same so don't allow the alcohol or the burn to like get you but um anyways and then i also use therabreath I don't know why because like I said to you guys earlier, I have been in my head. The devil has been trying to convince me that my breath stinks, but I rebuke him in the name of Jesus because I brush my teeth, I floss, I rinse, like I, I take care of my teeth, I can take care of my mouth, um, you know, I get my cleanings. So I just, I don't know why I'd be feeling like that way, like, you know, but I got their breath because of it. So. I like this stuff a lot. This again does not have any alcohol in it. Um, does it have fluoride? This one you have to rinse with rinse for one minute. I but we're rinsing for one minute and then 30 minutes of no eating and drinking after your rinses. That's usually for most of them. Um, I'm trying to see if this one has fluoride. I don't think that this one has fluoride, y'all um and that's fine because i use both i usually will use this during the day and then use this i mean use this one in the morning and use this one at night time sometimes i do both i don't know sometimes i just be getting in there but i probably shouldn't because if i use this one and then this one then i'm rinsing out this one so i probably should not do that but i would say you know use one in the morning use one at night um so yeah y'all this one again has no alcohol but i like this one for my breath i have noticed like a little bit of a difference like feeling like i have bad breath some of it is a placebo effect child when you just be believing stuff then it just so happens and that's why we need to believe that we are winners amen like hold on really quick y'all because y'all know i just got a word right now let the placebo effect take over your life in a positive way. Read about the placebo effect and allow that to take over your life in a positive way because your thoughts control you. Like you have complete control over your outcomes. It's all in your mind. Like if you think positively, positive things will come like what and i notice it like i control what my outcomes are if i go somewhere and i'm like i'm gonna if i'm like gonna have a great day i'm like i'm gonna have a great day today da, 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 then i really do end up having a great day or if like i need good news if i need some i just have to like completely focus in and it's like deep you gotta like dig deep dig deep dig deep because there'll be all these extra thoughts no you ain't you ain't gonna have a good day this person getting on your nerves this person about to you gotta have to cuss these people no you think positive thoughts you're gonna have positive outcomes so your mind controls everything that was my quick little interruption word but yeah y'all so those are my favorite dental hygiene products i'm trying to make sure i didn't forget anything got my toothbrushes my toothpaste my mouth rinse my floss my whitening i showed you guys now there's an alternative for the whitening if you guys do not like or if you guys do not have um whitening trays right and you guys don't have access to the zoom whitening gel what i would recommend is crest whitening strips i really like those you just have to be consistent with those you probably have to use them for at least like two weeks almost in a row but again if you're getting sensitive then you should stop also read the directions i am not the directions i don't know sometimes i just be saying stuff it's like i'm playing but read the directions y'all i am not the directions read the directions but I know with the 3D Crest Whitening Strips, I was consistent with them at one point in my life and I did notice a change. So that's that. Um, yes, guys, that is my dental hygiene favorite products. And now I'm going to go ahead and brush my teeth for you guys. So that you guys can see exactly how I do it. Now you're going to see my routine 
everyone is different people are like listen you should floss first brush second rinse third listen i just say do it just make sure you're doing it period okay